One of my biggest concerns when we look at this research is the alignment between Medicare and Medicaid. Medicare payment for a nursing home is about two to three times the payment for Medicaid. It all varies by state. What happens is when nursing homes are faced with that decision, do I keep this person here and treat their pneumonia with an antibiotic in a nursing home setting, or do I send them to the hospital knowing that after a three-day hospital stay, they can get about three times the rate of reimbursement. The money talks that these frail older patients get sent to the hospital. What concerns me is that this pattern of transition is associated with poor outcomes of care. So 96% of families when asked say they want care to focus on comfort when you're dealing with a population that's this severely cognitively impaired and severely functionally impaired. So the patterns of care that we're seeing appear to be really at odds with what family state they want for their loved ones. What our study has found is if you're in a region that has this rate of burdensome transitions, you're nearly three times more likely to have a feeding tube. You're two times more likely to spend time in an ICU in the last 30 days of life. You're two times more likely to have a stage four decubitus ulcer that results in pain and distress to that patient and also to that family who's watching that patient in that degree of distress.